This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com Boom! What's up, people? Dobbs was right here, and welcome to the final Pokemon Battle Tin of the of the month. But we're not done yet, people. We've still got one more pack opening after this. Please check out GeekRetreat.com. They're amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, people, my luck has been impeccable. It really has. And if you guys want to see the last episode, please go back and watch it. Because Cynthia was freaking insane. Oh my god, Cynthia. I'm telling you now, I'm just saying out loud, freaking Cynthia. That's all I'm saying. Go back and watch the last Tim Bell and you'll see what happened. But today, if you're back here and, you have, and you've already seen it, Ombion has a lot riding right now. It really does. It has to get nine points to draw. It needs 10 points to absolutely make it or even get the best card in the sets. Really, the best cards. Meaning Fat Pikachu, Rainbow Rare, Alternate Hour, Charizard, Charizard V-Star, um, Hyper Rare, Rainbow Rare, whatever you want to call it. But anyhow, if you guys are new to the channel, like I said, I will tell you the rules right now. Promo cards. Whether whatever rarity it is, they are worth one point because you're guaranteed getting them. Normal hollows are worth one point. Reverse foils are worth zero points. V cars, GXs, EXs, whatever you want to think about them, they are worth two points. If they're full arts, they are worth three points. If they're rainbow rares or gold rares, they are worth four points. But if you get the most expensive card in the set, you get yourself a whopping five points or if I decide it, you win the whole thing. Anyway, here's Ombion. Here's the price. Out with the old, in with the new. Vivid Voltage first. Let's see if Ombion can actually get them, get that big massive W. Or get the draw, or just come second. Or it can be last. Because if it's last, it has to have less than three points. Yeah, it's very, very low. So... Anything can happen. Let's have a look. We got Fine Energy, Heroes Medal, Kakuna Matsana, Moo Moo Milk, Mummy Milkers. We got Rockruff, Wisma, Trubbish, Tynamo, Clopopus, a Reverse Foil Pinchino, and the Leon Hollow right from the start. Very good start, people. Very good start. That's one point right there. So that's two points altogether. It's a good Hollow Rare, to be honest. A very good Hollow Rare. Fusion Strike! What can we get here? Here's your code, and it's gone. One, two, three, four. Let's have a look. We've got Fighting Energy, Cross Moth, Ninetales, Togudamaru, Makurita, Rookadi, um, Darumaka, Silipede, Stuffle, a Reverse Foil Sandslash, and a Dion! Whoa! Whoa, look at that! A Fusion Strike, Rapid Strike, and Single Strike Deoxys. That is insane. That must be a very expensive card, or ex an expensive Hollow Rare right there for tournament players by the look of it. It possibly can be quite valuable for for people who do tournaments in, in Pokemon. But nice, we got ourselves another point. That is one, two, three points altogether. We need one more holographic to draw with um, Espeon, but if not, it's dead last. Which I don't want Umbreon to lose because I really well, I don't want it to be dead last because Umbreon is actually my favourite Pokemon in the Evolution series. You know, the Evolutions. So, yeah, I don't want that to happen. Carablast, Clefairy, Purloin, and the Kling Clang. Final pack of Destiny can... Umbion becomes second, or is it dead last, or is it drawing second, becoming drawn? One, two, three, four, let's have a look. We got a fire energy, Beatif, Fruxel, Tropius, Mercury, Carablast, Clefairy, Cherubi, Sork, a reverse for Beatic, and a Tornadus. Oh dear me, never mind, Umbreon. You became third place. You came dead last. You can't win them all, people. You really can't. But either way, I can't complain at all, people, because the other two tins were absolutely amazing, and I think my luck is still on my side. So before we say goodbye, people, and I'll tell you the winners of all day, we got ourselves Beatic, Purloin, Sandslash, and Pinchino. 
And then for the hollows of the day for Umbreon, we get ourselves one point for Deoxys, one point for Leon, and one point for the Umbreon V promo. And now it's time to announce the places. So third place with three points is Umbreon. For fourth place, with four points, we've got Espeon with her big groups and for first place with a whopping nine points yes nine points ladies and gentlemen nine is of course Sylveon with the amazing Cynthia and the two V cards OMFG so that's your winner Sylveon's the winner Espeon second and dead last is Umbreon and also I'd like to ask you a question who is your favorite evolution Pokemon I'm gonna ask you that question and I will go ahead and look at the comments on what people think anyhow make sure you check out geekwithtreat.com they're amazing and stay tuned for the final pack opening of the month of September we open up the brand new mini tins with that being said the people I'm going to see you guys subscribing and I'll see you guys next time cheerio I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!